What's going on, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed, bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And today we have something from uh, Eureka Gold Sands. I picked up a bag from them and uh, got it shipped out to me here. Now, uh, it took about a week for them to get it out the door. Got here a couple weeks, uh, about a week later. It came from British Columbia, a little bit north of here. Not very far, uh, so I was a little bit surprised on the shipping. But uh, overall, it finally got to me. Got it here in hand, and we're going to dig into it, see what kind of gold we can find. Now, the bag that I got, I'll go ahead and put up the description here. <clears throat> we got the one pound of regular mix Eureka Gold Sands pay dirt. It says up to three quarters of a gram of gold and platinum. <clears throat> so we may find some platinum in here. Product details. This is our flagship product. We have sold over 50,000 of these bags, that's a lot of bags, in the last 22 years. One pound of genuine pay dirt straight from the Olivine Creek. Guaranteed 0.45 to 0.75 grams of gold. So that's a pretty good. Every bag has a little platinum picker or two added as well, making our pay dirt the only one on earth that guarantees platinum in every bag. That is unique. I don't think I've come across a single bag from any seller <clears throat> where they really talk about platinum, let alone guarantee a platinum picker. So that'll be interesting. I've never caught platinum before, so hopefully I'll be able to catch it. In the package, we got a little, what do we got here? We got my packing slip. The, uh, the bag itself cost me $58.99. Shipping was free. There was no shipping. So that was $58.99 to my door. And there you go. <clears throat> um, oh, I see. I see. So they had a printing error with the label. And that's why it took a little bit longer to get it out. And it's fine. I reached out to them and they had already shipped it by that point. So... You know, sometimes shit happens. That's all right. The bag got to me, so I can't really complain. A uh, little thank you letter. Thank you for purchasing from Eureka Gold Sands. We appreciate your business being our long-term pay dirt supplier. You never know. Um, basically, it just gives you a little how-to, how to actually, you know, pan out your, your dirt. Uh, we know how to pan here, so we're not gonna go through that. Plus, we sluice it first anyways. Um, but that is cool. If you don't know how to pan as a little how to, that's always a nice little inclusion to get within the shipping bag. Uh, nothing, nothing else in there. Just the bag of dirt, nothing protecting it. No extra baggie around it. Luckily it didn't puncture or pop or open up or anything. So, uh, should be okay. The bag itself is not heat sealed, opens right up. Uh, usually we don't even talk about that anymore because everybody heat seals, uh, but he does not. So that is always one thing I will recommend if you're going to bother getting the Mylar bags, get the heat sealer. It's 20 bucks. That makes sure it closes and doesn't open up uh, unexpectedly. It's a very simple thing and every pay dirt seller should have it if they're going to use these kinds of bags. That's the benefit to using these kind of bags is you can heat seal them. Uh, so there's that, but overall the dirt got to me just fine. It didn't spill within the bag. Nothing seeped out of the big bag. Nothing. There's no problem. So I can't really complain there, but as a suggestion, heat seal it for that extra protection. Double bag it for that extra, extra protection. Being just in this bag doesn't really provide it too much extra protection. But again, the bag got here just fine. So that is what it is. But, uh, there you go. So that's what it looks like, one pound of dirt, guaranteed platinum picker, and up to three quarters of a gram, $58.99 to ship to your door. Eureka Gold Sands, let's go check it out. All right, as always, we're gonna start off by class classifying out the stuff larger than a quarter inch. So, let's take an initial peek at what this dirt looks like and then we'll start doing that. Make sure we tap out everything from the bag. Wanna 
make sure I find that platinum picker. If it's in there, I want to see it. All right. There's our dirt. Looks like some smooth river gravels. Ooh, just dropped my classifiers. And that's what we're working with. Hopefully the camera decides to, there we go. All right, nothing to write home about. River gravels, we've all seen them, <clears throat> hopefully. Hopefully you're not just a spectator and you actually process pay dirt yourself. Cause it's fun, it's a great hobby. Get you uh, at least a little bit off your ass. Not a whole lot, I'll be honest, but it's fun. So, we're going to speed things along, of course, so that nobody falls asleep. And we'll be right back once we get it all shaken out. All right, we are back. We got everything all classified out. One pound of dirt, and this is what we wound up with. Being as it was only one pound of dirt, kind of a lot of above quarter inch material. I don't see any gold nuggets or any rocks of any kind of value. So in the case of pay dirt, I'd rather not see this much Big rock in my one pound. Cause that, that's a lot of, of weight for uh, big rocks that are gonna get thrown away immediately. <clears throat> Moving down to the 10 mesh, everything above 10 mesh between quarter inch and 10. Just enough material to almost fill that bottom lip, maybe about three quarters of the way up. Um, not a lot of material here. That's okay. I mean, uh, the only thing you're going to find in the plus 10 usually is going to be your pickers. Uh, I'm not seeing anything here. Not seeing any pickers. Now, there is a guaranteed platinum picker. So, I guess it all depends on what their... Uh, definition of a picker is but you should be able to pick it up with your fingers going down to the 20 mesh plus 20 stuff maybe a hair more there just enough to almost fill that bottom that first bottom lip on the old blue pan here a little bit more material than we got in the plus 10 At this point, we'll start checking it for magnetics. I hear them. And I saw them. All those little dark spots were our uh, magnetic black sands. And there they are. Again, I'm not seeing the platinum picker, but I am seeing a little piece of gold right there. But there we go for magnetics. Moving down to the plus 40, the coarse sands. 
Definitely more material here, more material here, sorry. Uh, we are filling up that bottom lip. That bottom lip is fully full. Just right about. So still not a great amount of, uh, of dirt here. We're breaking it down one pound. So it's not a huge amount to begin with. It's one pound of dirt. And uh, the majority seems to be here in the plus 40. Oop. As far as magnetics go, we definitely have some. Is it a giant amount? Not really. Again, it falls right in line with what we saw in the plus 20. So there you go. There's your black sands, your magnetic sands, and your plus 40, your coarse sands. Finally, we have our sub 40, our soft sands, and our super fines. Everything below plus, uh, sub 40. Less material here than we get in the plus 40. Plus 40 is our breadwinner. Uh, sub 40 is just some powder, a little bit below that lip. And of course, as far as magnetics go, we have some. Definitely what I was expecting. Good amount there. Let's get the sands out of there. Again, we're right in line with what I would expect from this much dirt. There you go. So it shouldn't be too big of a hassle at the end. We'll get that separated out off the sluice. But there we go. We definitely saw a little bit of gold here in the, uh, the plus 40. Or maybe that was plus 20. Wherever we saw it. So we know there's something in here. I have not seen that that uh, platinum picker just yet. Nope. But hopefully, hopefully we'll see some good stuff. So let's hop over to the sluice, fire it up, and find our shiny. All right, we're back. We got the dirt all wetted up. Sluice is ready to go, so let's fire that up. We'll zoom in a little bit for, for y'all watching at home. You can see the flow as it go. All right. Now we're going to start off with a plus 10. There's not a lot of material here. We're going to work our way down, but we're going to speed things along. And uh, we will be right back.
All right, we got everything all cleaned up. Sluice is turned off. And now we're gonna see what we found. Taking our first looks and looks like a couple of larger rocks got hung up there. Which is kinda odd, but probably heavies. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing some gold, as you can see there. Definitely some good gold in there. And a little piece down here in the far side. And maybe a little bit more finds and other stuff throughout. But uh, we'll find out. So let's get this dirt all, or this, these cons all cleaned up. And see what kind of gold we found. Alright, we'll be right back. some of this water and there's your gold baby somewhere between four tenths and three quarters of a gram I'll agree with that most likely uh, now there was supposed to be a platinum picker in here um, I have not seen it not sure what the weight difference is gonna be But I'm going to go back through the tailings, of course, to see if there was any gold that was missed. But I also want to find that picker. All right, we're back. We got this gold all dried up. Miner Bob and the ass are hanging by. They're ready to uh, see what we found with that Eureka Gold Sands, one pound of pay dirt. About 60 bucks US to my door. Well, let's see what we got. Fire up the old scale hello all right we're ready to go all right and so what we're looking at is 0 0.650 grams of gold 0 0.650 about on the halfway point between the minimum and maximum guarantee that was listed on the site. Not too bad. So there you go. We'll lock that in, 0 0.650. And uh, yeah, Eureka Gold Sands. Uh, one pound of pay dirt. So we'll uh, do some math, figure out how much that is. And I'll be right back with my final words and ROI. But first, a couple pictures of the gold. All right, welcome back. So, how about that? Eureka Gold Sands, one pound of regular mix, Eureka Gold Sands pay dirt. Um, as always, we'll do the dirt and then we'll do the gold. Uh, the dirt was fine, it was all rivery gravel type stuff. Uh, nice sandy little rocks, let you know where it all came from. Uh, there was a little bit more of the larger material in it than I would have liked, just because it's such a small amount of dirt to begin with. Uh, but overall, it was fairly easy to go through. There was a, a decent amount of black sands, so not an overwhelming amount. Um, and yeah, overall, it was a pretty damn good bag. And I think anybody could go through this on a weekend or a, a you know weekday, weeknight, uh, and have a good time and see a nice smile of gold at the end and really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was pretty good dirt. 
Uh, I would have liked more, of course, but I did only buy a one pound bag. If I want more, he does have those options. So you can go check all those out and decide for yourself up front if you're okay with the minimum uh, and if you're okay with the maximum guarantees because you're going to fall somewhere in between there. Uh, and that's what I did today. So let's talk about the gold. The gold was all gold. Um, a lot of uniform size in there. That's probably what he was throwing in. Um, no real big pickers, nuggets, or anything like that. Uh, there was a couple larger flakes. I guess you could, maybe if you're really careful, you could pick this one. Oh, I got it. That's a picker, technically. So, a couple pickers in this little tray of gold. Uh, not huge pickers. I really had to struggle to get that, but maybe that's just my big old, big old hands. Uh, man, I don't know, my hands aren't that bad. <laughs> but either way, not huge pickers, but technically, I guess, yeah, there's a picker of gold. Uh, speaking of pickers, there was a mention of a picker of platinum. I did not see any pickers of platinum. I did see a couple flakes of platinum in there. Uh, I took a picture of one that's in the pan right now, and then I think there's one here mixed amongst the gold. Um little itty bitty piece didn't really even notice it was there until i was taking pictures uh platinum i thought was a little bit in the heavier side so maybe there, there is still a picker of platinum in there and i just need to go through those tailings one more time uh, i did already go through it twice uh, and all i found the second time was that one flake of platinum so maybe there's more in there maybe there is a full-on picker in there uh i don't know i didn't see it uh so i couldn't really tell you as far as pickers go, there was just pickers that were gold, but nothing platinum. If that would have really affected the ROI, uh, I'm sure it would because, you know, then there'd be more weight of a precious, precious uh, metal. Um, and like I say, it may be in there. I just haven't found it, but I'll go through the tailings one more time. Um, if anybody has any tips that I should follow for trying to get platinum out of dirt as opposed to gold, um, please go ahead and leave those in the comment and I'll throw that to the, uh, to the tailings and see what I can come up with. But overall, no platinum picker. Uh, so all we have here to go off of is the gold. Unfortunately, fortunately, I mean, it is what it is, but, uh, I'm here for the gold and most of you, I think are for the same. So let's throw up those numbers. I paid $58.99 for the bag that is shipped to me. That is shipping included. So, you know, shave off. I mean, this is international shipping. He sent it from Canada. Um, and it's not free. It's about 14 bucks Canadian to get it to me. So, um, shave that off the, the cost and, you know, you kind of adjust your expected ROI there. Uh, but overall, like I say, $58.99. What I wound up finding in there was 0 0.650 grams of gold. Uh, the minimum guarantee was 0 0.45. The maximum uh, expected add is 0 0.75. Uh, so I did wind up right in between there. So that's not bad either. You know, that's right in the middle of where I expected. Um, and I can't really complain because that's right there on their website. Uh, but what that winds up being value at today is $40.60, which is going to be a overall ROI of $68 or 68%, 68.8%. God damn, I can't talk. Um, so yeah, 68% ROI, not bad at all. Um, definitely some good dirt to go through and check out. Uh, or check out one of his other bags that has, you know, more gold, more material, if uh, that's what you fancy. But I think if you if you only had 60 bucks to spend and you wanted to get some dirt to you, this is not a bad option. So go check him out, Eureka Gold Sands. He touts himself as the original pay dirt seller. Um, I've been doing it for, I think he says 30 years. So that's a long time to be selling dirt. So if he's been doing it that long, I guess, I guess he kind of knows what he's doing, right? 20 years, 30 years. Anyways, either way, go check him out. EurekaGoldSands.com. Of course, I'll put a link down below. Um, it's pretty good dirt. 68% ROI is definitely better than what you get in a lot of places. Um, and, uh, yeah, if they're all around that, that spot, then that's not too bad. The good way to spend your day. So yeah, there you go. Eureka, Eureka Gold Sands. Try saying that 10 times fast. This is Dig Daddy. <laughs>
Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that notification bell as, as well while you're at it. That way you don't miss any of my future content. Um, check me out, backyardprospecting.com. Even though I'm lazy about updating the videos there, you probably already watched it here since you're watching it now. Uh, but definitely check out the site anyways because I got a prospector shop there where I sell gear. Uh, sometimes my specialty pay dirt I sell on there to help fund the channel. Uh, so if you want to check out some of that, backyardprospecting.com in the prospector shop. You can also pick up cool swag like backyard prospecting t-shirts, tapestries, table mats, mugs, towels, panties, whatever you need. Backyardprospecting.com Otherwise, this is Dig Daddy signing out from the shed. If I don't see you out at the rivers, I'll catch you in the backyard. Peace. Thank you.